Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing here a deck profile for kind of like a Heaven's Yellow upgraded deck. So this is essentially me uh, doing my best to essentially make Heaven's Yellow, which is the starter deck. Uh, to actually be playable in some sort of way. Now, if you guys actually do remember, Heaven's Yellow is not the most amazing starter deck out there, and especially in this particular format, it is not amazing. I mean, the boss monster, Seraphimon, I mean, let's all admit, it's not the greatest card out there. So with that being said, um, it is going to be very challenging to uh, outperform every other deck out there, but this is just something I thought I'd uh, try out, and I thought maybe I'd just share my build with you guys. You could just just could build it and have some fun, and that would be um, all that matters here. But uh, with that being said, don't expect this to be winning you any kind of tournaments. Don't expect this to be beating so many decks out there. Um, it's just not a deck that I can make... Um, to that level but with that being said this is the best i could actually make for this particular deck here and uh it also just centers around the theme of the whole uh angemon and angelwoman uh together into one this is a pure yellow deck so theoretically it should be okay but uh with that being said um in practice maybe not so much but hey we're all here to have fun so let's just uh, get on with this particular deck profile and hope you guys actually find this uh, quite useful so starting off here we're playing three copies of our Upamon definitely just really amazing it's good for generic yellow decks to be honest anyway so uh, just playing this you can't go wrong also playing here two copies of Nyaramon uh, just also really nice because uh, I don't know, when this is suspended, which you most likely will be, uh, all of your security just get an additional thousand, which is nice because it allows you to kind of act more on a defensive stance, and that kind of might deter your opponent from actually attacking into your security so recklessly. Now onto level 3s, we're playing here three cop uh, 4 copies here of our Patamon, definitely really amazing. Uh, essentially when your opponent's Digimon is deleted by dropping to 0, you get to gain 1 memory. Uh, this is an inherited effect, but it's uh, definitely really amazing. Uh, for this particular build here. We're also playing three copies of Salomon on deletion. Uh, you get to recover one card if you have uh, three or fewer security, which is uh, definitely quite a bonus here for sure. Um, but we're also going to be playing here two copies of uh, this particular Salomon as well. Uh, when attacking one of your opponent's Digimon just loses 1000 DP. Uh, you're essentially hoping that your Digimon can easily just overwhelm your opponent's Digimon. So that's definitely going to be worth it. Uh, most of the time your opponent's Digimon or your opponent will have less cards on the board because you're either going to be attacking over their Digimon or their Digimon's most likely going to be losing to your Digimon during the security battles. Uh, but with that being said, the final level 3s we're playing is the 3 copies here of Renamon. Uh, really nice here, one of your opponent's Digimon essentially just loses their security attack until the end of the opponent's next turn. Uh, this could slow down them actually dealing damage to you, and they will have to rely on their own effects to essentially boost up their own security. Uh, so they really can't do anything against you. So definitely a fantastic card to just start you off and uh, slow down the aggro that the opponent is going at. Now on to level 4s, we're playing here uh, 4 copies of Angemon, uh, kind of really crucial card anyway. Uh, just when attacking, if you have 4 more security, you get to gain 1 memory. I mean, that's really nice there, allowing you to essentially just uh, manipulate your turns a bit more. Uh, but we're also playing here 4 copies of Gardomon. When attacking, one of your opponent's Digimon also gets 1000 DP less, which is fantastic to weaken them. Uh, so yeah, definitely well worth it over there. And finally, we're playing 2 copies here of Ankylomon. This is fantastic. You see, at the end of any battle, in from the security that is, this card can be just played without its memory costs. So it's a free level 4. So uh, yeah, when it goes off, it's so satisfying because it uh, kind of gives you an extra Digimon out on the board to then ready yourselves for your next turn for the full on assault. Now on to level 5s, we're going to be playing here our 4 copies of Magna Angemon. When attacking, again, your opponent's Digimon gets 1000 DP less. So you're weakening them more and more. And if you evolve this on top of Angemon, then you're essentially just reducing your opponent's Digimon 
uh, by 2000 DP, which could make a huge difference. But we are also playing over here our four copies of Andrew Wamon, uh, definitely amazing. This one's from the starter deck, but uh, when digivolving, if you have three security cards or less, you get to trigger a recovery one, which is fantastic. So it's definitely well worth it there to play four. We're also going to finish things off here with the two copies of Andrew Wamon from i believe set 1.5 really amazing card when did evolving again you get to take away your opponent's security attack this time by two so huge deal there uh just again slowing down your opponent as much as possible but its inherited effect is uh when attacking if you have three or fewer security cards you get to play one yellow level three digimon card from your hand without paying its memory cost absolutely amazing there again allowing you to generate more cards onto the board allowing you to kind of go on for a full-on assault now at least up until this point i feel like everything is fine i'd play that for any yellow deck to be honest uh it's quite appropriate it's at this point where we kind of might start to go slightly downhill because this is the level sixes and most decks will kind of depend on what your boss monsters will actually be playing and that's kind of the crucial thing here with this game but uh, with that being said, Seraphimon, it was the whole focus of this deck. I'm trying to make this card work. It's not an amazing card. When attacking one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 4,000 DP for the turn. Together with the Magna Angumon and together with the Angumon in your actual Digivolution, at least you can reduce it by 6,000. That can delete at least most uh, level 4s, if not sometimes even level 5s, which can be fantastic and all, but aside from that, it is at 10,000 DP, so it is pretty low. Uh, but if you can reduce like 6,000 DP, um, I think it's quite worth it. I mean, you're mostly using this card to kill or delete your opponent's Digimon, and not so much to win your security battles. That instead will be done by your other Digimon, which we have over here two copies of Cherubimon, so when attacking, if you have three or fewer security cards, uh, place one yellow Digimon card from your trash to the top of your security stack face down. So, kind of again, allows you to recover your own security, but at least it allows you to kind of um, still continue attacking into your opponent. Uh, of course, with 11,000 DP, it's not that high, but uh, just gotta hope that your opponent doesn't have any high level Digimon in their security stack. But with that being said, we're going to end things off here with the Ophanimon. Also really decent. Uh, but yeah, on deletion, place this card on top of your security stack face down, which uh, could definitely deter your opponent quite a bit because uh, the opponent would then have to really strategically plan out. They don't want to recklessly now attack with their highest uh, Digimon. Uh, so yeah, definitely quite nice here. But this is essentially the level 6 engine. As you can see, not really powerful, not too amazing, but I am trying to make it work. As for Tamers, we're going to be playing here the four copies of TK. Uh, this is an amazing card because of the fact that it boosts your own security by 2000. Very well worth it. Remember, we were playing Ophanimon, which can put herself back on top of your security. So with TK out on the board, them all stacking as well, you could really uh, get quite a few numbers on uh, and delete your opponent's uh, level 6s, which is definitely quite well worth it. But I'm also playing here one tie, uh, really nice. Um, if I could have a bit more, I might play a second copy, but I think just the one will do. As for option cards, we're playing two copies here of Holy Flame. Really cheap card, but allows you to essentially reduce your opponent's security attack by three. A huge deal because, uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to get to you uh, so easily. We're also playing two yellow memory bursts, kind of self-explanatory. Just a really good card to potentially gain memory, but also to search out your Digimon. We also have over here 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, definitely really nice here. Uh, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus... 10,000 DP. This could essentially just delete one of your opponent's uh, Digimon, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, just really great here. Um, and hopefully, with all of this being in your security stack, uh, you could really just slow down the opponent as well. But this is essentially it for our particular deck profile. 
I do hope you guys actually enjoyed this one and have fun with it. Um, again, this is going to be purely a fun deck. Don't expect it to be uh, competitive whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, it's a really interesting deck. Um, just trying to make uh, one of the starter decks a lot better again. And yeah, it's definitely quite a challenge there. So if anything, if this deck just doesn't work out well, then it will probably go into the collection binder. But for now, just something that I thought would be uh, quite fun to actually uh, test out. Uh, so yeah, definitely leave me your thoughts down below. Otherwise, thanks for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.